future of rowing in the Olympics? Well, on the face of it, the changes that FISA are proposing seem completely radical, specifically dropping the lightweight men's for the sweep event, which has been so successful since the 1996 Olympics, seen tremendously close racing. Doesn't seem like it will have a future beyond the Olympics of 2016. Sacrificed to try and make gender equity 50% men and 50% women. And it seems controversial, it seems radical. In my opinion, this is not a radical change. If you are not involved in rowing, if you take a look from the outside, just dropping one event, which is kind of repeated in the men's four, adding another event, the women's four, really just seems tinkering around the edges. That's if you're looking in on the sport. In my understanding, rowing, if it is under threat for the Olympic movement as it moves towards a more event-based program for the 2020 Olympics and beyond, really needs to be more bold and take uh, a much more far-reaching look. I think changing one event or perhaps some of the other options like dropping the men's and women's double and so on and so forth really don't go far enough. What I would look at is to try and radically change the nature of rowing and potentially open the way for different kinds of rowing events in the Olympics. For me, the sport needs to be dramatic and make the teams much smaller. What I would like to see is small boats in the first part of the Olympic regatta week and then those athletes racing in bigger boats in the second part of the Olympic week. I think the format in rowing is tried and tested. We've seen it in the Youth Olympics. To me, that would be a more radical step. It would also make it much more interesting in terms of smaller countries being able to join, make the bigger boats like the men's eight or the men's quad, women's eight, women's quad that make the sport of rowing so much more exciting. I think also the sport of rowing could make a bold move and adopt a mixed men and women's event. I know perhaps these moves are not uh, ruled out, but certainly I think that would be a bold move and a bold statement for the Olympics in 2020. I would go further. I would say that rowing needs to be far more flexible about where it races and how it races, particularly with cost as an option. I think the expense of rowing is one of the biggest expenses and the IOC are petrified that host cities aren't bidding. I would open up rowing. I would say if you have a river throwing through a major town, why not have a regatta on that river, a head regatta, like for example the head of Charles in Boston, make that part of the Olympic competition. Why not bring in an indoor rowing a gometer competition as part of the process towards an Olympic points event so you have a variety of events counting towards Olympic medal like in pentathlon. That would open up the sport to a whole variety of people who otherwise don't get a chance. So I think the proposals, while I understand in a conservative sport, and jean Christophe Roland has to really get proposals through, maybe the FISA Congress, which is a very conservative body, <coughs> will pass. To my mind, these proposals don't go far enough. I would certainly think that the sport will take a hit in terms of attractiveness. I think it's essential to get 50-50 gender equity, but I think initially putting in a women's four, the standard is not going to be as high as lightweight men's four. I think why have they gone for lightweight men? I think probably that's something to do with Eastern European nations um, not having strength in women's rowing at the moment. and. So at least in sort of men's rowing, the big Eastern European nations like Ukraine, maybe like uh, Croatia, maybe like Serbia, have strength in the men's fours and perhaps that's why the lightweight four is the one to disappear and not the men's four to get gender equity. But what I would say is the sport does need to be bold and from within the sport it seems like a radical measure. But really it's not and uh, I think now is the time for boldness. Thank <laughs> you.